Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Today we are going to look at electrochemistry. We are going to learn the definitions for standard electropotential by using an example from June 1, 3, Verum 41. Now this question is regarding about what is meant by the term standard electropotential, which is SEP. It is actually electromotive force, or we call it as EMF, of a cell made up of a test electrode connected to a standard hydrogen electrode under standard conditions where we have to state the standard conditions which is 1 atm 25 degrees c and also one mole per dm cube there are three types of test electrode altogether the test electrode could be in solid state liquid state or the gaseous state. So different state, different physical state will have a different setup. Let us look at a questions from June 1, 3, paper 42, questions 2A. With the aid of a full labor diagram, describe the standard hydrogen electrode. The standard hydrogen electrode is very important in the standard electropotential. Why? Because it serves as a reference electron. Uh, electrode and the E naught value for this is 0, 0.00 volt. It is a given value. All right, now let us look at how to draw the diagram. So, first of all, you need a beaker, and then there will be an inverted gas tank. All right, and this is immersed in a solution of. A H plus aqueous, which is one mole per dm cube, and the temperature is twenty five degrees C. So you need a platinum electrode to complete the circuit. So we have to label this as platinum solid, and that we have our H two gas in one atm. So this is how we describe standard hydrogen electrode in our questions. All right, now let's look at an example one. If you want to know how to determine the standard electrode potential for zinc, then we'll have to connect the standard hydrogen electrode together with the zinc. And remember to draw the diagram like this and we have to labor everything in detail. So for example, in this case, this is our H2 gas, which is 1 atm. This is a platinum solid, and this is the H plus aqueous, which is 1 mole per dm cube. Whereas this is a salt bridge. This is the voltmeter. And since we want to know the electrode potential of zinc, so this metal itself should be our zinc solid, and that the aqueous should be the zinc 2 plus aqueous in 1 mole per dm cube. And finally, we'll have to determine the standard temperature, which is at 25 degrees C. So now let us look at the functions of the salt bridge. This salt bridge, it could be usually KCl or KNO3. But KNO3 is the best salt bridge because it doesn't form any precipitate with any of the cations or anion. So the functions of the salt bridge is to complete the circuit by allowing the passage of electricity between the electrodes and also maintain electrical neutrality in the cell by balancing the charges. So if we look at this case, all right, if we check our data booklet, the 
E not value in a data booklet of zinc to zinc zinc 2 plus to zinc is negative 0.76 volt whereas hydrogen this electrode potential is 0 0.00 volt it shows that when the value is more positive in a data booklet in a data booklet it favors reduction whereas if it is a very negative value then it favors oxidation so from here we can determine that oxidations happened at a zinc electron so therefore we're going to flip the equations from the data booklet so it becomes zinc forming zinc 2 plus plus 2e whereas the reduction will be 2h plus plus 2e forming h2 gas and the overall equation is going to be like this first of all we cancel off the electrons and that the overall equations becomes zinc plus 2h plus forming zinc 2 plus and h2 gas next we're going to see if our test electrode becomes a gas so this is a very good example to know the standard electrode potential of chlorine so for sure we still need our SHE which is our standard hydrogen electrode but we still have to labor the same thing as it this is H2 gas which is 1 atm and the solution is going to be H plus aqueous 1 mole per dm cubed and that this is the platinum electron everything is performed in 25 degrees C and if our test electrode is Cl2 gas then instead of using a solid then we'll need a gas tank to store our Cl2 gas so therefore here is going to be Cl2 gas which is also 1 atm and this is our Cl aqueous 1 mole per dm cube all right and you need to labor the salt bridge and also the voltmeter all right now if you look at the data booklet these standard electro potential recorded is this which is 1.36 volt whereas for hydrogen the value is for sure 0, 0.00 volt judging at this case the value of this chlorine electron is more positive therefore it favors reduction always remember if the value from the data booklet, booklet is very positive that is reduction if the value from the data booklet is very negative or more negative then it favors oxidation so with this we can show the equation for oxidations since it happens on the hydrogen electron then the equation is going to be h2 gas turns to 2h plus plus 2e whereas for reduction electron it happens on the chlorine so therefore it should be cl2 gas plus 2e forms 2cl minus and therefore to write the overall equations we'll have to cancel the electrons from the left and right hand side there's the same thing and we're going to show the remaining species and this is what we get all right next i would like to show you the flow of electrons the flow of electron is always from anode to cathode knowing that oxidation is always happen in anode and reductions always happen at cathode so therefore the flow of electron is from the hydrogen electrode to cl2 electron so therefore it is flow 
from here to here. So I can put an E here to show that this is the way where electron flow. And lastly, if I'll test electron in the aqueous state, then this is a very good example past your questions. So look, let's look at these questions. Draw a fully labeled diagram of the apparatus you could use to measure the standard electro potential of the ion 3 plus to ion 2 plus electrode. So in this case, we'll need to show two beaker. And this two beaker is connected by salt bridge. And that we will need to use a platinum electrode for our aqueous test electrode. And this is the voltmeter and that we need the platinum electrode for the hydrogen gas tank. All right, so now we will start to labor everything. In order to score full marks, we'll labor the voltmeter. And over here, we will need both iron 3 plus at one, which is in aqua state, where we always need to labor the state symbol for our test electrode. So this is iron 3 plus, in one mole per dm cube and iron 2 plus aqueous in one mole per dm cube as well. So this is going to be our platinum electrode. This is also platinum electrode in solid state. This is the H plus aqueous, which is one mole per dm cube. They are always in the standard uh, standard conditions. This is the H two gas, which is one atm. And remember, the temperature as well, which is twenty five degrees C. So with all this laboring, you can score full marks, five marks. That's all for today's video. If you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the March scheme just doesn't seem to help, Genie has got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get Genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.